This short video should just offer a few reading strategies to help you with uh, the reading load for this modern Latin American history class. Uh, once again, just to show you, here is our main text, Born in Blood and Fire. Remember that you can and should um, get it as cheaply as possible by getting older editions. Remember though that if you do that, you need to contact me so that I can help you um, uh, figure out which chapters correspond with what we'll be doing in class because they changed the chapter numbers just a little bit for the fourth edition, although the information there is essentially the same. The one that you will need, um, unit in and unit out, is Problems in Modern Latin American History by James Wood. Um, he's the editor of this one. It contains a lot of different excerpts of different primary and secondary documents uh, relative to the various themes in modern Latin American history that we'll be working on this semester. So those two books, we'll be reading uh, for each unit a selection from those. We'll also, for each unit, be reading a journal article. So as noted elsewhere in the instructions, there are three bullet-pointed readings for each unit. One from Chastain, one from Wood, and a journal article that happens to fit with the theme that we're currently studying. Um, that's a lot of reading, and I understand that. Um, something to uh, try to think about as you approach reading for history classes at the college level is that um, reading every single word cover to cover is not necessarily the best way to go. Instead, um, look at the introduction, uh, read the first couple of pages um, really thoroughly. In the Wood Reader, each chapter has an introduction that provides some context for the various documents that are included there. There are also introductions to each document. So take advantage of all of those kinds of features and um, options for you, and then you can uh, liberally skim through um, the rest of the material there and stop when um, you find something that's really interesting to you and you want to read more about it, or when there's something you don't quite understand, read that section with a little more detail. But you can often just get the gist of what's going on in broader terms by reading topic sentences and uh, trying to move through the work, or through the reading, I should say, um, a little more quickly. So again, just some hints to help you um, not get bogged down with the reading assignments uh, for a class this semester. Finally, we will be reading The Little School by Alicia Partnoy. Um, this is her fictionalized, to a degree, account. I shouldn't say fictionalized. It's not a straight um, diary, though, or a journal of her experience in a um, concentration camp, essentially, as a person who has disappeared or kidnapped in Argentina during the military dictatorship in the 1970s. So her account stands as a witness to the atrocities that took place under the military regime, and she was able to speak out about that. You will be reading this book on your own. It won't be part of the regular unit assignments, although Unit 7 will focus entirely on the little school. So if you've read through it before we get to Unit 7, um, little bits at a time, then you'll be ready to complete the tweets and the discussion assignments there, and you'll be ready to write the essay assignment based on that book. Um, please also reference the resources that I've linked to below this video. Um, they also give some other types of helpful hints for reading uh, for history classes. I've kind of mentioned the, the strategies that work for me, and I realize that those strategies don't work the best for everyone. So if you uh, look through other ideas, get some uh, uh, various methods about what you could do uh, to get through the reading this semester, um, that would be great. So again, just some hints, just hopefully something that's helpful um, as we begin the course.